a big day for the Raymond Group. A slump sale, a demerger, and a new listing. I'm joined by the men of the moment, Mr. Gautam Singhani and Mr. Amit Agarwal. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining me today. I'd like to start by asking about this sale. Why now? What led to it? Well, I think everything has a time and place. And uh, why now? Why not now? So uh, there was an opportunity to do, to sell this company and go to which paid us 2,825 crores. I think it's a great deal for them. It's a great deal for us. Uh, so why not now? Sure. Mr. Singhania, earlier in the briefing, uh, you said this interesting phrase that with this deal, you're killing three birds with one stone. Would you want to elaborate on that? Yeah, so I mean, one, of course, is the sale. Second, we, because of the sale, we are able to do the demerger of the lifestyle business, which we've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, so that's the second thing. And number three, we're net dead zero. So the three important uh, things that the market was expecting from us, and we're delivering all three together, so it's, you know, what better way to do it? Definitely. Um, speaking about this uh, 2,825 crore deal, how did it all come together? Ah, it's, uh, you can say it's more uh, the buyer, the seller came to various discussions and achieved, arrived at a negotiated price. So sure. from what we know, uh, there were earlier also attempts were made. So was this second time, third time's a charm? You know, things keep happening. Uh, people flirt, people caught. Uh, things happen when they have to happen. It's all this time. Um, given both Park Avenue and Kama Sutra were such big and iconic brands that have come from this group, uh, why sell them then? Value. At the end of the day, it's about value. We're in the business of making money, giving shareholder returns. So... We've again demonstrated we're not emotionally attached to businesses while we have emotions for our businesses. Uh, but, you know, I mean, if you, you know, at a price, everything is for sale. And if you, you know, this, in this case, the one plus one will become three, not two, because the demerger will also create share, serious shareholder value. Sure. And just looking? to top it up, yeah. also, we have created these brands, nurtured these brands to become the consumer's first choice brand in this space of deals. Now the next level of growth, people see the potential that will be done by GCPL. Definitely. Um, you're eating a manufacturing, manufacturing facility and still staying in the B2B business. You'll be supplying to GCPL. Will there be more clients that you'll be adding to this B2B or it's exclusively GCPL? No. So we have currently the Kama Sutra branded, which is being bought by GCPL. Hmm. A certain portion of production is being sold to them. And certain portion of the production is also sold to some of the international customers, which we continue, but we will be in a B2B business only. Definitely. Um, is there any other plan to utilize the proceeds of that will be coming from the sale? So proceeds of the sale, as we said, will be used in the lifestyle business. First, to make it a debt-free business. Our lifestyle business is a cash flow generating business, which will further enable us to expand we don't have a large capex plan, but we have a very significant plan in terms of retail expansion, which will help. We have the ethnics, which is working very, very well for us. We have a B2C shirting. We are expanding well with the China Plus One into the garmenting facility. So all these put together, the lifestyle business has a great plans on the way forward. And when do we see the lifestyle business on the bourses as you're demerging and listing it again? When, what's the timeline on that? Actually, it's a 12 to 14 month process through the NCLT and the various regulatory, which will take its own course. But we expect in 12 to 15 months to complete this process. Sure. With this move, now Raymond uh, primarily will become a real estate player, uh, like you've mentioned earlier. Uh, what is on that? What's happening on that front? Well, real estate has done well for us. We're the number one developer in the Thana market today. I think we continue to push in that space. Uh, we've got phase one, two, three already launched. We'll launch a phase four soon. Um, after that, joint developments is the way we go because we've built a strong team of people and a strong business. So I think it's going to become a very serious business for us. And we established the number one brand today. So it's good. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.